Hi, this is Noel from creationeffects.com with another cool artifact for your footage. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use the Monet effect, which is an After Effects template that lets you drop in your footage and turn it into an animated impressionist painting. And there are a few looks in here that try to imitate uh, the famous impressionist painter Claude Monet, but there's a bunch of other painterly looks in here as well that you can apply to your footage or photos and uh, you can customize all of the painting effects using simple controls. These painting effects are just a few of the artifacts that are available in the much larger template called Creation Artifacts. Uh, that one includes a lot more effects for turning your footage into art using just about every medium you could think of, uh, like pencil and pen and watercolor and charcoal, uh, marker, clay, textiles, Legos, halftones, and uh, a whole lot more. So be sure to check that out if you like these kind of effects. All right, let me show you how to use the template. It's really easy. The first thing you'll do is unzip the zip file that you downloaded. Uh, if you're on a PC, it's very important that you open this file the right way, or you could get errors in After Effects. So be sure to right-click the zip file and choose the Extract All option. If you're on a Mac, you don't need to do that. You can just double-click it. And that'll open up a folder, uh, so just open the project file inside in After Effects. If you're using Creative Cloud or any version after CS6, open the CS6 version. And once open, you'll see instructions here, uh, which will tell you to import your footage and put it into one of these comps here named Your Footage. So let's do that before we do anything else. I'll go to File, and Import, and File, and I'll select this clip of some boats. I like it because it seems kind of Monet-ish. I'll click OK. It'll show up in here, and it's an HD clip, so I'll drag it into the comp named Your HD Footage. And then you can open the HD folder, and then Painting Effects. And then you'll see a couple options here for Claude Monet. So these were designed with Monet's style in mind. Or uh, you have some different painterly looks uh, that you can choose from down here. You can see there are several different versions of this vector blur effect. Uh, so just open any of these comps uh, to see your footage with the effects. You can see in this Claude Monet 1 folder, we have two options. One for bigger brush strokes. Let me show you that. And then there's one for smaller brush strokes. And all of these can be customized. I'll open uh, Claude Monet 2. And if I select this layer at the top, Control Layer, and then look in my Effect Controls panel, there's a bunch of controls uh, that you can use to customize the painting. If you don't see this panel, just go to the Window menu and choose Effect Controls. I recommend you play with these because every clip is different and you want to find the best settings for your footage. So all of these comps will have that control layer, and all the comps will also have this Instructions layer at the top. So you can unhide that and read about the effect and how to customize it. And also these marker notes on the individual layers can also give you some helpful information or tips, so just double-click to read those. Another layer you'll see in all of the comps is the Stop Motion Effect layer. This layer makes your animation randomly wiggle a tiny bit on each frame, which makes it look more like a stop motion animation. If you select a layer, you can customize uh, the intensity of the effect using the controls on that layer. Now I used to have a uh, posterized time effect on the stop motion effect layer, which controlled the frame rate of the animation, but uh, it was slowing down the render and it just didn't make much sense to have it in there. So now I have the frame rate of all of the different painting effect comps set to 10 frames per second. You want a low frame rate like that to imitate a stop motion animation. Uh, if you want to change the frame rate, then with your comp open, just go to the composition menu and choose composition settings, and uh, you can adjust the frame rate in there. If you like the choppy look of a low frame rate, but your uh, final video is going to be broadcast or something, and it needs to be a higher frame rate, like 29.97 or 25 frames per second, 
Uh, then you would create a new comp by clicking this new composition icon and set the frame rate to 29.97 or whatever and uh, then drag your painting effect comp into the new comp and then you can render that new comp out. One more thing about these painting effects, uh, they all use one or more dynamic textures to create the effect. A dynamic texture is a pre-comp and you can find them in the pre-comps folder. So you can see the Claude Monet 2 effect has a couple dynamic textures, canvas dirty and oil paint small strokes. You can see these are just animated textures. Uh, they take one or more photos and they blend them and move and rotate and flip them randomly on each frame uh, so that no two frames are the same. And you can customize these textures with the controls on the control layer. So you can make this paint texture bigger if you wanted um, or there's a bunch of other stuff you can do. If you go back to the main comp, uh, you can see those two dynamic textures are here in the comp as their own separate layers. And so the reason I'm showing you those is because if you want, you can swap out the dynamic textures with other dynamic textures. For example, we could change this canvas texture. I'll open the extras folder up here, and you can see we have some alternate canvas and paint textures. So if we wanted, uh, instead of using a white canvas, we could put our painting on brown newsprint or uh, sketch pad paper or any of these other ones. To swap them out, first you need to select the texture down here in your timeline, and then you'll select the new texture up here in the project panel. Then hold down the Alt or Option key, Alt if you're on a PC, Option if you're on a Mac, and drag the pre-comp from the project panel onto the selected layer. So that will change the source of this layer while preserving all of the effects and expressions of the layer. So that's everything I wanted to show you. Uh, you'll be able to make some really cool painting effects now. Remember to check out Creation Artifacts, which includes these effects and many other cool artifacts for your footage. And uh, you can also check out the other stuff at Creation Effects. It's all for Adobe After Effects. There are custom 3D books, auroras, uh, there's custom flocks of birds and insects and fish, VHS effects, old film effects, glitch effects, text effects, and much more. So please check it out. Thanks for watching.